Hey fellow staff, this is a video showing you if you're interested in how to embed a Google document into uh, Schoology. Uh, one of the ways that I was thinking about trying to make things a little bit easier for myself was having a calendar that I could just do in a Google Doc, which is our, you know, calendar that everybody's using here, and just be able to enter information in and have it automatically update onto my Schoology page without having to kind of double dip and put things in two places at once. So it's a pretty easy process. Um, you'll want to make sure that you've got a Google Doc version of the calendar and probably make a calendar version for each class. Um, after you've got it all set up here, um, we're going to be switching this to publish for the web. So I've already clicked the publish for web button on here on mine, but I also want to make sure this checkbox right here is selected so that way I can republish it whenever changes are made. It does take a few minutes for those changes to be reflected after you've embedded your document. So you've got an option either to, to link it, or um, this is what I think is most uh, beneficial, is probably to actually embed it kind of like you would a YouTube video. So you can copy your embed code here, head back over to Schoology. Um, if you already have a, a page set up that you're, you're working with, you can do that. Otherwise, add a page in. You know, maybe this is just the calendar. Uh, this little button here off to the side is that HTML button. You can just paste in. Now, when I click Create here, um, it's not going to show anything that's part of that page unless I change a little something. So, um, you need to make sure that you have this little symbol here selected. And then, I'll publish it again here, and you can see it doesn't really show the whole calendar. To fix that, you actually do need to go into the HTML version here and just update um, the width and the height. These are uh, pixel dimensions, I think, uh, as far as I can know. I don't know too much about HTML. I found that it actually worked pretty well to be at a thousand and thousand. Again, I don't know how this is going to look in a mobile way, but even if it does only show part of the calendar, they can still scroll within the box to see whatever it is that you want them to see on the calendar. So again, this is maybe just going to be a nice way to be able to show what the daily tasks might be or the weekly tasks, due dates, tests, things like that um, as you're starting to prepare your online class.